Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my 23 week update, so I'm really excited to share it with you guys. If you haven't already, press the subscribe button and welcome if you're new. So a few facts, and I don't know why I wasn't sharing this in any of my previous videos, but a few facts about the baby right now. At 23 weeks, the baby is the size of a grapefruit, and she's about 12 inches and weighing a little bit over a pound. All right, so into kind of how I've been feeling. This week has been a really, this is a really easy week to do. I still really don't feel too pregnant. Like my, um, I just think that with my first pregnancy, with Kaya, I was really dramatic, <laughs> and now, since I already have Kaya, I don't have time to be dramatic. I have to go on throughout my days and take care of her and worry about a lot of other things other than how I'm feeling pregnant. So, um, yeah, I just, I feel energized, I'm not sleepy, I'm not sickly, I'm not, um really hurting yet like I'm not to the point where I'm just really in pain and ready to get this baby out so I'm kind of like in that sweet spot where I don't really feel pregnant at all I kind of just feel like I'm walking around the world and the baby moves every once in a while you know oh so I can still see my toes my tummy is not that big where I can't see my toes yet but it is getting harder to see like anything below my stomach like or do anything below my stomach so shaving is really hard like I, I don't even know the last time I shaved my legs to be honest <laughs> because it's just really hard like I can't really stick my leg up um, I can't really like put my leg up on the ledge and shave because my stomach gets in the way of like bending over to shave um, and then it's kind of getting in the way and like bending over to grab Kaya or just any kind of bending motion my stomach is starting to get in the way so it is getting big but it's not huge to where I can't see my toes yet I can still see my toes if I look over my skin has been really sensitive that's another reason that I haven't like really been shaving because um, anytime I shave, I, I've started to get razor bumps, which I don't really get in uh, my life not being pregnant. Oh, I actually just bought a wax machine or a wax warmer. So another weird symptom that I had in both pregnancies is that my stomach gets really hairy <laughs> for some reason. I don't know if maybe my stomach is like hairy in general and I just don't notice that it's hairy but when I'm pregnant I, I notice the hairs on my stomach when I'm taking videos it's not like really black hairs or anything it's just that when you're taking the videos you know usually I'm taking them with like a um, flash so you can see the little like peach fuzz I got a wax machine or a wax warmer so that Dakari could like wax my stomach and we tried to do it the other day and it's really hard you guys <laughs> Waxing is definitely for professionals, that is for sure. I thought like, I've watched so many videos, I can do this, it's so easy. But it's actually pretty hard, like getting the wax to be enough wax and then getting it all over your stomach and in the right place, it's pretty hard. So yeah, we tried, but I didn't even finish my whole stomach because I just got sick of doing such small strips. Like I need to learn how to get big strips. And I got hard wax so that you don't have to put the wax strip on top of it. So you just pull off the wax because I thought that would be easier. But um, yeah, we're going to have to do like a bunch of trials. I haven't had any more headaches since I told you guys that I had headaches last time which is nice, I hope they stop. I feel like every single time I tell you guys that I hope they stop, they just start that day again. And then in the next week's video, I tell you guys that my headaches are back. My stomach is still getting hard at night. Um, at 24 weeks, you can start to get Braxton Hicks contractions. That's like when they say that if you're having these feelings, they actually might be Braxton Hicks. But I still don't think that they're Braxton Hicks that I'm getting at night. I just think it's just my stomach is like, cramping or something because I'm uncomfortable or maybe I'm sleeping in a weird way that it's like getting really hard. But the other day I was at my parents house and I do think I might have had a Braxton Hicks contraction. It's possible but I just don't really believe that like it's happening this early I guess because I don't remember feeling it with Kaya but I wouldn't have even known what a Braxton Hicks contraction felt like with Kaya. But the other day I was um at my parents house and I was with my mom in the kitchen and my stomach just got really really hard and, I, and even from her pushing on it it was uh, she could feel like that it was really like firm 
that could have possibly been a Braxton Hicks contraction, but it could have also just been my stomach was being really hard. <laughs> I haven't had any vivid dreams yet, and I'm really sad. Pregnant, I usually have dreams really often, but this pregnancy, I have not dreamt at all. Like, And I think that the reason that I haven't done it is really just because I have so much on my mind pretty much 24 seven. So this time, I think my mind is just all over the place, um, and that's why I haven't uh, really been dreaming because I don't have time when I fall asleep It's like I'm falling asleep and then I wake up and whatever my mind needs a break So it's falling asleep pregnancy brain. Oh my goodness guys and Dakari if you're watching this video I know you're literally dying laughing that I'm even saying this But yeah, my pregnancy brain has been awful and it's because I have pregnancy brain and mom brain like put together Like I'm already a mom. So I'm already way too worried about everything else Like I told you guys so I forget stuff way too often and then you also have pregnancy brain And this is actually a real thing guys like people always like want to like bash it, but I'm pumping so much blood, like two times the amount of blood as a normal person's pumping. So like think about how much less like my body's able to do for itself. So it makes your brain forgetful and full. But to be honest, I'm pretty sure it's just because moms have so much to think about. They have to think about their children. They have to think about themselves. They have to think about their husbands or their significant others or their family members or whoever. You know, moms, we just always want to take care of everybody but ourselves. So I just think moms have way too much on their brain. So of course I'm going to forget some things at some point. I pretty much wear the same pair of leggings every single day you guys I have two pairs of these exact same leggings and then one pair that's like more like stretch They're more stretch and I pretty much wear those leggings on repeat like I cannot put jeans on absolutely not I have pregnancy jeans, but it's been so hot like I told you guys that I don't even want to touch jeans so I really need to go shopping for some like maternity shirts because I don't really have any of those anymore. My hair, I can definitely tell is growing a lot. It's getting a lot thicker and fuller. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord, you guys, because my postpartum shedding with Kaya was awful. I always had a lot of hair my whole life. Like I always had really long curly hair. Whenever you're pregnant, your hair doesn't shed as much. All that hair has to go out of your head. It's going to shed. So I just had it really bad after Kaya. So my hair felt really thin and my curls were getting, my curl pattern was going really bad. So one day I just decided like I'm not ever straightening my hair again. I threw away my straightener. Worst decision of my whole life because now instead of straightening my hair, I would just rather wear like a wig because I threw the straightener away. Like if I wanted to straighten fake hair, I couldn't. So it was definitely a dumb idea, but it made me stick to my word to not straighten my hair again. So it's been probably almost six or seven months since I've straightened my hair. And I actually have noticed a lot of difference in my curl pattern. It's going back to how it used to look all the time and it's getting more curly. Whereas before it was like just getting really bad. Um, cravings, I haven't really had too many different cravings than I was talking about in my last video. The only thing that I've noticed that I'm craving is sweets and it's so bad. Like I really just, every time I see sweets, I'm like, mm. but I just tell myself like, I don't wanna eat that. <laughs> Because I think if I let myself have like one thing, I'm going to just keep going. I, I think that's my personality. I haven't bought anything for this baby yet. Um, we do have to get a couple things. There are a couple things that we need. Like we do need another car seat because we got into an accident with Kaya's old car seat, her newborn car seat. So we had to cut the straps out of it in order to get a new car seat through the insurance. Um, so that car seat went to waste. So now we just have the big girl car seat and we need to get another infant car seat for this baby. Um, we will need a either another crib for this baby or a toddler bed for Kaya. I was really thinking that I'm just gonna get a toddler bed for Kaya instead of getting a whole nother crib. But the thing about that is that the crib that we have for Kaya is convertible. So it goes from a crib to a toddler bed to a regular size bed so I kind of want to get the other baby the same thing because then her bed just grows with her as well but toddler beds aren't very expensive and um, they're usually a lot cuter so I think that we might just end up getting a toddler bed and giving this new baby um, Kaya's crib but the new baby she'll be in the bassinet for like a good 
three or four months until she moves to her crib. Um, we won't have to worry about getting a crib so soon. We can take our time getting that. And then there's just other little things we need. Like we still, we probably need some baby soap and diapers and wipes and stuff like that. But we'll just get that along the way. Other than that, we don't need anything. We're starting to go through Kaya's old stuff. It's really freaking me out like doing this because it's like, uh, it's so close. We're so close to having another baby. And it's just gonna be so sweet. I'm so excited. But um, yeah, so going through Kaya's little stuff is just like bringing back so many memories and all my favorite outfits that she wore, we kept. So we have a lot of, we kept all of the stuff like that, like clothes and her little toys. We still have the Mamaru. We have all of the big things that we need for the baby except for the car seat. So really as soon as we get the car seat, we'll be fine if the baby came the next day and we can just go from there. She's really kicking. She's really, really starting to kick now. I can start to feel the movements like if, it, if she's stretching out, I can feel like that she's obviously stretching because I'm getting hit on one side of my stomach and getting hit on the other side of my stomach. So I can feel that like one end is a foot, one end is an arm. I don't remember being able to see Kaya's kicks like that this early. Alright guys, so I'm going to end the video here. Um, I'll get up and show you guys my stomach, but that's my 23 week update. Here's my belly from the front at 23 weeks. Here it is from the side. And the other side. Yeah, so it's getting pretty big. It's definitely a, definitely a pregnant belly now. Nobody can confuse it. All right, I'm gonna end the video here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. That was my 23 week pregnancy update. So if you liked the video, let me know by pressing the thumbs up and leave a comment below if you have any questions. Don't forget to press the subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. See you guys later.